everyone, welcome back. The other day, the Apple website revealed that the iPhone SE 2020 would be available for pre-order at 5 a.m. this morning. Anybody that was crazy enough to get up at that time, hats off to you. <laughs> this is very exciting for many reasons. I bet you can guess why I'm excited. Yes, the camera. Yes, I know it's a bit underwhelming to most tech heads. It's only a single camera module, but that's all I really ever use anyway. I currently have the iPhone XS Max, and I love it, but I don't think I've ever used the second telephoto lens. Ever. I have a few third-party lenses that I attach to the main wide lens that has the highest aperture of f1.8. The native telephoto, or zoom lens, has an aperture of f2.4, which isn't terrible, just not as reliable, especially in low light. The new iPhone SE 2020 has a single wide with an f1.8. Now I know you're thinking, okay, but that's the exact same as the phone that you have. And you're right, but also wrong. The new iPhone SE's camera has the software support of the A13 Bionic chip. Yes, that's the same exact chip in the iPhone 11 Pro. That's nuts. What's even more insane is the price point. It starts at $399 for 64 gigabytes, as opposed to an iPhone 11 Pro at 64 gigabytes, starting at $999. This, however, comes at the cost of having an LCD and not an OLED, Touch ID instead of Face ID, and no 3D Touch. Uh, raise your hand if you don't give a shit about any of those things. Congratulations, you're in the vast majority of cell phone users. <laughs> All jokes aside, I love my current phone. The OLED screen is amazing, but I could definitely live without it. I can live without all of the features I just mentioned. And to be honest, I kind of miss the smaller form factor. I'm definitely considering trading in. Not gonna lie. Anyway, the reason I made this video is to bring this to aspiring filmmakers' attention. This is a great deal. If you've seen any of the footage that some people have been able to get with the iPhone 11 series, it's nothing short of mind-blowing, and now that's going to be available in a phone that's almost a third the price. This is also clutch because of the current state of the economy, with everything that's going on. Also, mobile filmmaking is most attractive to indie filmmakers because they're always on such a tight budget. Use the money you save on this phone to get great sound equipment, great lighting equipment, to hire more people on set, food, etc. This is a rare occurrence where you'll be getting a great camera, really cheap. And I think everybody should take advantage of this while they can. Also, every purchase of a Product Red iPhone will contribute to the global fight against... you know. Anyway, I know this was a bit different than my other videos. I kind of like doing a tech video. I think I might do a few more in the future. Let me know what you think down in the comments. As always, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell to get notified every time a new video comes out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Yeah, I wanna run off and fly. And I'll tell myself